Hi there, it's Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making some gnome shoes. These are going to be cute little clogs. The pattern is at the link below. Speaking of pattern, I created all of these fun gnome shoes for standing gnomes, shelf sitting gnomes, and sock gnomes, even those cute little bunny slippers. If you'd like to get the patterns, just click that link in the description box. Okay, so the first part of any of these patterns, we're just gonna be using felt, our glue guns, scissors, and any decorations you want. And so we're just gonna cut out all four pieces of the pattern for these cute little quote wooden clogs and then we're gonna start attaching them so here's the thing I would recommend starting at the very tip of the shoe and yeah put on some finger guards because ouchie uh, I am warring with my glue gun through this entire video so I apologize for how clunky that part is um, but all you're gonna do is just put a nice thin bead of hot glue. You don't need a ton. And then once you have one side of the top completed, I would recommend it letting it sit there and dry 100% because then you have this cool little shelf that you can just put hot glue on and flip around the front. See how easy that is? Now, if you can't get it lined up, don't worry about it. Put your fingers at the very front and make sure those two pieces come together at the tip so you can just squeeze them a little bit. We're gonna put a little polyfill in there to pump that back out. Okay, so now we're going to attach the sole piece. So again, I would recommend A, a hot glue gun that isn't stinky, and B, uh, finger guards, because we're going to start with the top front again just make sure that sits right up under there and then instead of doing one entire side go ahead and do the first inch of the other side of the toe and what that's going to do is just going to make it a little easier to get the sole all the way on because it's going to provide the structure for the shoe and then once you have that structure and it's dry just go ahead add a little bit of hot glue and go all the way around again you can see me i'm just warring with this glue gun it doesn't get any better okay so once that side is dry, we're just going to add a little bead of glue right to that sole piece. Oh, pushing on the entire glue stick right now just to get a little tiny bit of glue out. Okay. And then we're just going to wipe away any glue. Now, here is the thing. If you get a little off in your felt or you have a little glue like I do, just snip it off after it dries. You can see I'm just snipping off that excess glue. But you see how everything lines up? Woohoo! So now you're gonna pop out that toe. I do recommend using less polyfill than me. <laughs> I was a little impatient with my glue gun at this point, but just go ahead and stuff that toe full. You can use the eraser end of a pencil and then just weight it down if you're gonna need it for weighted. So I was thinking I'd put a sock gnome on these or whatever, I haven't made him because I ran out of time in the spring when I made these. And then I just added a little bit of polyfill on top and then turned down to sort of make the back look like a clog. I turned down that back edge so you can see, there you go. I'll just stop talking and just show you. And so you can see it all the way around, I just did that. And then for, you can see, it's cute, right? Uh, and then I just used one little daisy off of this ribbon spool, spool, ribbon, yeah, ribbon spool, and hot glued it. Woohoo! Little gnome clogs. And then we're gonna repeat it for the second one. And again, we're gonna start at the front. We're gonna do exactly everything the same. Do one side down, do the entire front, add the sole, and then Again, we're going to snip off any glue that you may have in there. We're going to weight it down, stuff it, and roll it down. And that's it. Let me know in the comments. Do you love these? Thanks for being here with me. Please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots.